So, hello everyone. I'm Sashi, research assistant at the National University of Singapore. Today, I'll be presenting our tool, ML Privacy Meter, designed and developed at the NUS Data Privacy and Trustworthy Machine Learning Lab. Personal data, such as facial identities, text conversations, bank transactions, location trajectories, heart rate, gait, and other physiological signals from our body are being collected and analyzed for commercial and non-commercial purposes. This data is at the heart of building powerful AI systems. Machine learning is at the heart of all such AI systems. A typical machine learning workflow consists of two phases, training and inference. During the training phase, a model is learned from the data. In the inference phase, this learned model will be used to make predictions on new data. The accuracy of a machine learning model depends on how good its training data is. Hence, there is a rush to collect more data, raising serious privacy concerns. There has been a speculation and discussion around the privacy risks of AI systems. Several people have questioned if AI systems can ever be compliant with data protection laws. In fact, if a data processing uses innovative technologies such as machine learning, as per Article 35 of GDPR, it is mandatory to perform a data protection impact assessment, DPIA. The key steps in performing a DPIA are to assess the potential threats to data and analyze the possible mitigation measures. Traditionally, when performing risk assessment in DPIA, organizations focused on illegitimate access to data, say through security breaches. When using a machine learning model in the inference phase, we do not rely on the data to make any new predictions. Hence, at a first glance, it might seem like the data is safe because we are not touching it during the inference. But machine learning models pose a subtle privacy threat to the data by indirectly leaving, revealing about it through the predictions and parameters of the model. Past work has shown that it is possible to infer about the training data just by observing the predictions of a model. In a membership inference attack, the attacker infers if a particular record was present in the training set. These attacks were tested against machine learning as a service platforms offered by both Google and Amazon, and they achieve a significantly high accuracy. Membership inference can be a threat on its own when mounted against models trained on sensitive data such as medical data containing patient records with, let's say, some specific disease like HIV, which might carry social stigma if found out. In general, membership inference attacks can be seen as a measure of information leakage from the model. And the more successful an attacker is in performing membership inference, larger is the information leakage from the model. Why do these inference attacks work? Surprisingly, machine learning models tend to behave differently on members, that is records that are present in the training data, and non-members, that is records that are not present in the training data. An adversary with some background knowledge can learn to distinguish this behavior and identify if a particular record was present in the training set. In case of neural networks, if the entire model is revealed, the parameters, and especially the gradient vectors with respect to the parameters in the last layer, reveal a lot of information about membership in the training data. This shows that machine learning models pose a huge privacy threat to the training data bringing in new challenges for data protection in AI regulation. The European Commission, which is the executive branch of the EU, calls for protection of personal data in AI systems and build systems that are resistant to attacks. The White House recently released a guidance on regulating AI applications, and they do emphasize on protecting data throughout the AI phase, throughout the development of AI, which includes the inference phase. Recent reports published by the ICO UK on auditing AI systems and NIST US on securing machine learning applications highlight the privacy risk to data from machine learning models. And they specifically mention membership inference as a potential confidentiality violation and privacy threat to the model. The auditing framework by ICO calls for organizations to ensure that personal data is not exposed through their models. 
the investigation teams at ICO will be using this framework to assess if an organization is compliant with data protection laws. Hence, organizations should account for and assess these privacy risks. But how do we measure this indirect leakage about data from complex machine learning models? Our tool, ML Privacy Meter, can quantify the privacy risk of machine learning models to training data. It generates risk scores for all the records in the training data. These scores can be used to identify the records that are under high risk of being revealed through the model. Whether it is just providing a black box access to the machine learning model or revealing the entire model, ML Privacy Meter can readily quantify the privacy risks of machine learning models. How does ML Privacy Meter work? ML Privacy Meter works by implementing membership inference attacks against machine learning models. It can simulate attackers with different capabilities and different levels of background knowledge about the training set. For example, it can simulate an attacker who exploits only the prediction vectors of the model to perform membership inference. This is the only information available when provided a black box access to the machine learning model. It can also exploit it can also simulate attackers who exploit the loss or model parameters or the gradients with respect to the parameters, which is all the information available when given a white box access to the model. For each of the simulated attack, ML Privacy Meter can produce a risk score for any data record. This score represents the attacker's belief that the particular record was present in the training set. The larger the gap between distribution of these scores for members and non-members, larger is the information leakage from the machine learning model. An attacker can learn to distinguish these distributions and identify if a record was present in the training set. Success of the attacker can be quantified by an ROC curve, which represents the trade-off between true positive and false positive rates. True positive refers to currently correctly identifying the records that are present in the training set as members. False positive refers to misidentifying records that are not present in the training set as members. An attack is successful if it can achieve high values of true positive rate at lower levels of false positive rate. A trivial strategy, such as random guess, can achieve equal values of true positive and false positive rates. ML Privacy Meter can automatically plot the ROC curves achieved by our simulated attackers by varying the threshold he chooses for determining membership in the training set. The area under these ROC curves represent the aggregate privacy risk to training data from machine learning models. Higher the area under the curve, larger is the risk to training data. These numbers not only quantify the success of membership in attacks, but they can also be seen as a measure of information leakage from the model. When deploying machine learning models, this quantification of risk can be useful in performing a data protection impact assessment, DPIA. The key aim of performing a DPIA is to analyze, identify, and minimize the potential threats to data. ML Privacy Meter can help practitioners in all the three steps by helping them quantify the privacy risk to training data and identify the potential causes of this privacy risk. It can also help in selecting and deploying appropriate privacy risk minimization measures. ML Privacy Meter generates detailed privacy risk reports for all the records in the training data. It can identify a fraction of records that are under high risk. It allows for comparison of risk across different records from different classes in the training set. We can also quantify the risk posed by giving a black box access to the model with the risk posed by revealing the entire model, which is providing a black white box access to the model. Once we get these risk reports, practitioners can identify if the source of leakage or the reason for this privacy, at, uh, privacy risk is due to overfitting, and then they can fine tune their regularization techniques to address this overfitting or if the reason is due to less data in certain classes, they can fix that 
by adding the appropriate new data set which produces better generalization reducing the privacy risks or they can even choose to learn with a standard privacy protection in place such as differential privacy in differential privacy let's say i have a data set with alice data in it now i learn a machine learning model from this data set i replace alice data with bob's data and learn a new machine learning model the learning algorithm is set to satisfy differential privacy if both these models are indistinguishable to an external attacker the level of indistinguishability is controlled by a privacy parameter epsilon open source tools such as open dp and tensorflow privacy allow for training models with differential privacy guarantees but selecting the appropriate value of epsilon when using these tools is highly non trivial a smaller value of epsilon ensures that we get better privacy guarantees but it also means that we'll get a less accurate model epsilon is just a worst case upper bound on the privacy risk to training data and the practical privacy risk to this particular data set that we are using might be even lower so how do we select the epsilon such that we can get a decent trade off with utility and privacy guarantees ml privacy meter can help in selecting an appropriate value for epsilon by quantifying the practical privacy risk to training data at different values for epsilon one can train multiple models with different values of epsilon and guess the appropriate approximate privacy risk through ml privacy meters and depending on the tolerance level they can choose an appropriate value for epsilon using this method for selecting models ensures that they get models with way better accuracy compared to just relying on the guarantees provided by epsilon as it's a worst case bound on the entire data universe hence by allowing models with higher accuracy ml privacy meter allows for increased use of privacy enhancing techniques in machine learning to summarize machine learning models pose an additional privacy risk to the training data in ai systems by indirectly revealing about it to satisfy regulatory requirements organizations should assess these privacy risks and ml privacy meter quantifies this privacy risk from machine learning models and helps practitioners in compliance by letting them analyze identify and minimize the potential privacy risk to data by permitting models with better utility the tool can boost adaptation of privacy enhancing techniques in machine learning the tool is publicly available at the github link shown the repository also has tutorials and guidelines about how to simulate attackers with different capabilities and background knowledge please do check it out and feel free to contact us with questions and suggestions to improve the tool thank you